Uh, next is ranking member of the full appropriations committee, Kay Granger, for any opening statements uh, you'd like to make, Kay. I'd like to thank Chairman Ryan and, for, and uh, ranking member Jamie Herrera Butler for holding this important hearing today. The January 6th attack on the Capitol was something I never thought I would witness. In the face of great danger, U.S. Capitol Police bravely fought to defend the complex and ensure our members and staff were safe. In addition to making sure that the Capitol Police have the support and resources they need to process and heal from the traumatic events of that day, we must ensure that they have the resources necessary to defend the Capitol against similar attacks. It was clear from our briefing last month that the failure to protect the Capitol was not due to a lack of intelligence, but rather a failure to properly act on the intelligence. There was also a clear lack of command and control because so many agencies were involved, yet their actions were not coordinated. This is unacceptable and left our law enforcement men and women on the ground unprepared for the very real threat they face. At the center of this controversy is the Capitol Police Board, which includes the Sergeant at Arms, Architect of the Capitol, and Capitol Police. Serious questions remain about their failure to approve the request from the Capitol Police Chief to call in the National Guard and properly notify members and staff on the status of the threat through the emergency notification system. As we speak, miles of fencing still surrounds the Capitol, and the center of American government is now tarnished by razor wire and limited access. While we must take, we must take the necessary steps to make the Capitol complex safe and secure, we must have the ultimate goal of safely reopening the Capitol and its ground to the public. The Capitol and its buildings belong to the American people, not us. They need to be able to visit their elected representatives and know they will be safe while doing so. I want the witnesses to discuss what changes have been made and will need to continue to be made to ensure the Capitol complex is protected. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Thank you, uh, Ranking Member Granger. 